Yeah, no, it was really good. Obviously, you know, a lot of highlights. Uh, two school records go down with the uh, Tariq Sapp, same young man, uh, just blazing it this year with the 60 and the 400. Super proud of him, doing a great job. But there's lots of highlights all over the board. You know, some of the less household names, a lot of the freshmen are making big strides. They're just, you know, they're just getting overshadowed by, by, by the machine that has become Skyhawk track and field. And, and that's a good thing. But, uh, you know, uh, Joy Abbott, uh, one of the young ladies, Chandler Robinson doing a great, great job. Uh, Brady Fry, young man in the hurdles, made it all the way to the finals. Uh, you know, for a freshman to get all the way to finals on competitive meets like this up in Carbondale, a big conference school, uh, is quite rare. Um, you know, some of the highlights again today were the 1-2-4 the finish in the men's mile. It's great to see that sort of dominance. Uh, I came uh, to this meet actually just four years ago. Um, and we, I think we had four or five people here total. So for us to start dominating some events just three, four years down the road is, is really, uh, it's humbling, it's, it's, it's great. And uh, you know, the kids are just enjoying it too. And that's, that's part of it. For us to get in there and not only be recognized, but you know, the coaches, you know, uh, a, w a wink and a nod, as they say, uh, you know, a tip of the cap, you know, it's nice to receive that sort of uh, recognition from your peers as well. So it's not just kind of UT Martin and uh, glad to be here anymore. It's UT Martin and here, here to compete and here to win. The sky's the limit for this squad. Like I said, we've got some uh, upper class people that are really doing a phenomenal job, but we're as excited with names that maybe some out there uh, watching these videos don't quite know yet, but uh, we would encourage them to, um, Stay tuned.